folks to MJ Hobby Corner. I'm Martin, this is Julie, Hello. and today we have a little Oathmark update for you guys. This is for our Oathmark viewers. Uh, we're going to let you guys know what's going to go on with Oathmark Yay. and when we should be having the first game yep. of 2021. Yes. So Julie and I have been mm -hmm. uh, busy today uh, constructing our kingdoms. Mm -hmm. I have the kingdoms to show you and then I have this handmade yes. map very cool of our kingdoms mm -hmm. that uh, I'll describe in a minute because my software I can't use it anymore right you know yeah. so until we get a computer <laughs> until we get a computer yeah well uh, for now I'll do the maps by hand and that'll that's just gonna be a visual to uh, help with the videos mm -hmm. You yeah. know, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. It makes it better. It, it sure. describes it more. You can visualize it more yourself. Right. And it just make it makes it more real. Yeah, I, I think yeah. so. I agree, definitely. So uh, before we start on the kingdoms, so it, just to summarize a little bit, mm -hmm. um, the last uh, campaign was a, the war between Khaleesis, the elf kingdom, mm -hmm. and Sharbad, the goblin king, right, and his goblin kingdom. And Sharbrod was a very peculiar fellow. <laughs> if you haven't seen the narratives, check him out. You know, yes, yeah, good. he's the kind of king that, uh, you know, changed all the doorways in the kingdom because they were too tall. <laughs> and they kind of, you know, made goblins look bad. So he just had everything taken down. That's yeah. funny. He's yeah. a, a peculiar character. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So in, in one of the battles, uh, of course, uh, Sharbad decides that he gets obsessed with the river Anduin, one of the rivers that crosses her borders. And uh, Khaleesis mm -hmm. uses that river to transport goods in and out of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So, of course, Sharbad says, I'm going for that river. <laughs> right? Uh -huh. And he got together his boats and went out to mm -hmm. take... Well, uh, he failed. <laughs> yes, it did not did. work very good for Sharbad. <laughs> So, and then after that, I think we fought in the snow. Finally, the winters yeah, came. Yeah, we fought in the snow. I won that one too, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. You won one of them, though. Which one did you win? Uh, the Desert Pass, prior okay. to that. Okay. There was one where Sharbad decides to send an army through this little, uh, kind of a dry, scrubby area. Uh -huh. They call it the Desert Pass because it's very, very dry. Right. And so he sends a little army to try and come up Right. Right. South and north around uh, and strike at the borders of Khaleesis. But he meets with an elf army right there who, who for some reason, was in the desert pass right. as well. So they clashed and, of course, the elves right. lost. Well, it was because I had scouts. The scouts had gone ahead and yes. found out that that's what was that happening. That there was an right? army coming right. forward. Right, exactly. And so Khaleesis sent their own force. Right. And they fought in the desert. Right. And Khaleesis lost. Right. That was the only battle. Everything else was downhill for the poor <laughs> Goblin King. <laughs> and finally, Khaleesis, at the very end of 2020, we had a big game where mm -hmm. Khaleesis does a pincer strike into the capital. Right. And, won and wins. And wins. And Charbid runs away. Charbid runs away. Now, the interesting thing is that, of course, we started using Undead. Right. So, what is Sharbad doing that all of a sudden Undead we'll started? we see what's yeah. going to come up. So, we, we don't know where Sharbad is. No. He's a peculiar little green guy running <laughs> around or whatever. They're not really green in Oathmark. But he's running around, so if you see him. All so right. Funny. Yes. We're getting so. silly. <laughs> That's great, though. It makes it fun. So, what's next, then? Our kingdoms. Let's check out our kingdoms. Let's check them out. All right, so do you want to go first? Or? Sure. Okay. I'm just going to say it like we could. Is it? Yep. Okay. Well, my kingdom is Malvor. Malvor. It's a dwarf kingdom. Okay. Um, and it, he, it's ruled by King Ashram mm -hmm. and his queen Helga. Hmm, interesting. Ashram and Helga. Yes. <coughs> so I have a dwarf city, obviously. That's right? your capital, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then I have a mountain pass. Okay. And forges. Okay, outside. and this is the inner circle of right. the kingdom. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Then outside that, the three, the ring outside that, I have tarns, a hermitage, and um, a lumberyard. Now, the tarn is interesting because that's going to give you 
Ichis? Ichis. Ichis. Yeah. Ichis. Ichis. I, I, yeah, kind of like almost like abominable snowman, yeah, I guess. Yeah, like I, it. I love it. So, like it. Yeah. cool. All right. Very cool. And then um, the final ring, I have a river, a kennel, a forest, because I also have elves. A elf pathfinders elf, and, mm -hmm. and uh huh. And the halfling city. Halfling city. Yes. Now that's something you guys will see. We are going to have halflings in the next campaign. Mm -hmm. What we're doing, we're not making up stats or anything like that because that just a lot of times unbalances things. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is just use goblins. Use the whole the goblins, but they're going to be but halflings. But they're halflings, right? The stats of the goblins. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. and and in the story, they're halflings. Yeah. So you yes, have I'm halflings and that. dwarves. Halflings and dwarves and elves. And a few elves. Yes, a few elves. And some creatures. Cause oh, yeah, it's got some creatures. Yeah, definitely. She'll be able to field an Indric, yes. I think. In no, I don't not. The, the Indrics, I don't have the mountain, the mountain pass. Oh, okay. Or the snow-capped mountains have the okay. Indrics. Okay, but I think you have them in the other kingdom anyway. I do have them in the other kingdom. Yeah, right. and in this one, I have the, the, what, the Ichis and the Kennel brings me. The Kennel. Yeah. Okay, so she has a kennel as well, so she'll have some doggies. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's her dwarven kingdom. Yes. And uh, Khaleesis and new Maljagor, the conquered Maljagor, is going to be in the story as well. So the elf queen will still be involved. She'll, yeah, she'll still be around. Be involved, and you'll see what her relationship is going to be to this dwarf kingdom. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So for me, I had to go undead, of course. Of course. Cursed burial ground as my center. I have a sepulcher and a catacombs in the inner ring. And uh, I can't wait for that because uh, sepulcher gives me revenant cavalry. Mm. All right. Then I have a dark tower for some sorcerers. A necromancer, that is. Mm -hmm. A crypt which gives me a vampire, uh, some barrows for a wraith, and then my outer ring, my fourth ring, is dark forest, uh, rocky mountains. Okay. If I wrote that right, or snow-capped mountains, rocky mountains, and then uh, ruined villages. Nice. So I have some goblin stuff going on yeah. there. Yeah. So. All right. And Dark Forest will give me giant spiders mm. and Skeletal Wolver. Of course. That's be cool, though. Yes. My Skeletal yes. Wolver will be that used. That is very cool. Any sculptures that I, that I do, uh, like the Indric or anything else, will pop in the games from time to time. Mm. So be on the lookout for my Skeletal Wolver. He's going to be in there. All Hi. right. So those are our kingdoms. I'll, mm -hmm. uh, you'll see a picture of these uh, at the end of the video. Uh, why don't we go check out my map? Let's do okay, it. so this is my handmade map because I don't have the software anymore. Right. Uh, and I did the old school D&D &D thing uh -huh. where you take your paper and you stain it with coffee. That's right. what I did. <laughs> and so that's what this is. So here is a region of the marches. And basically here is Khaleesis. Mm -hmm. That was uh, Julie's older kingdom. And Maldragor. Right? New Maldragor, mm -hmm. because it's conquered now. Right. And then we have an elf human settlement here. But this is going to be changed. This is going to be the dwarf. That's mine. Yes. Yes, okay. So instead of elf human, that's going to be dwarf slash halflings. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's yes. going to be the new kingdom that Julie is going to command. Mm -hmm. Here is the city of the damned. Okay. Right up here. Uh -huh. Okay, and that's going to be up in that corner. That's mine. And then we have a random human city here, okay. a human kingdom. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're going to develop that or not. All right. And then here is an orcish kingdom. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yes. Wait, and what, what's down here? D this is another dwarf settlement that okay. I haven't. I haven't finished the map. I'm kind of adding to it. I see. Okay. And uh, here is the desert pass. I, gonna... Okay. Okay. That's there's... where we. Where I lost, right? Right. That, okay. that was the battle that Khaleesis lost. Okay. And here is the River Anduin. Right. And this sort of weird little dry region they call the Desert Pass. Right. There's a, a little bit of uh, wilderness. Uh-huh. Okay. Sprinkled about. And then there's these great lakes here. Okay. 
Okay. Nice. So most of our action, I think, is going to take place here in this area. Yeah, well, that's where, yeah, right in here. All right. Here's the River Anduin, and then that's where the shipping traffic. Right, okay. That's, it's controlled by Khaleesis. Okay. And then down here, we start to get um, more into drier area, yeah, more deserty. More, okay. Right. Okay. There's some a couple of mountain chains which I have to name, mm -hmm. and uh, that's it. I'm going to be adding to this little by little, Very and nice. this is our little oath mark yeah. campaign map. <laughs> and what we're going to do is this will be hanging in the studio. Uh, we'll use it in the videos, mm -hmm. but whenever armies, I'm going to try to get like um, little posted little sticky things, okay. right? Uh -huh. uh, I can't think right now of the of the name. Mean. Little pegs. Like okay. And then just the pegs will be a oh, different color. It shows us who is where. Right. Okay. Which I army is where awesome. and, and kind of pegs. That's what you're yeah, pegs. I yeah. got a like a cork board with pegs. That's right. what I'm thinking, right? Right. Or tacks. Yeah, okay. exactly. And that'll help us and it's just a visual aid. It's right. just for the story. Yeah, sure. You know, basically that's it. I think it makes everything more interesting. It does. I love maps. Absolutely. Love maps. <laughs> so there you go, guys. I wanted to show you our new handmade Oathmark Yay. map. And I will be adding to this. And then some areas I might blow up to actually right. you know, in another map. Sure. To show more details. Because these are big territories. Yeah. yeah. You know? Definitely. So Awesome. All righty. There it is. Um, that was my little campaign map. I'll be working on that. Mm -hmm. And I think for this year, uh, we're doing Oathmark on Fridays now. Right, yeah. Uh, not yeah. Thursdays. It mm -hmm. works out better for us that way. So uh, Friday, Oathmark. Right. Every other Friday, an Oathmark game, and we'll forward the story. Right, yeah. Right? And I'd like to, I'd like to really um, work a little bit on Battle Sworn. Uh, we have the uh, the battle sworn rules and, okay. and battle honors that mm -hmm. you can give your troops. Mm -hmm. uh, river, we want to do some river combat. Yes, yes, absolutely, most definitely. Some new boats. Yes. I'll be making some new boats. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if we're going twenty eight millimeter or fifteen millimeter. We'll have to decide we'll have that. To decide. Yeah, I like them both. Yeah, fifteen is harder to play. I think it is a little harder to play. Uh, but 28 millimeter, the, the boats would have to be big. Yeah. So it would have to be a big table. Which is fun, though. Yeah, which we could do. We could, sure. We could uh, put our tables together and have mm -hmm. a pretty big space. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, folks, but expect some river battles, right. some new stuff. And our next game is when? When are we going to play? Next Friday. It? Okay, next Friday. So, today, so okay, yeah, today. A Friday. week okay. from now. It'll give yeah. me time to paint and get some stuff ready. Okay. And kind of, uh, we don't want to rush it. We want to just slowly get into it again. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we'll have a practice game so that we can kind of get back in the sure. rules. Yeah. Um, one last thing. Uh, the new Oathmark expansion, Bane of Kings. Oh. That's coming out in April. Okay. And that's going to be interesting because if, if I remember correctly, um, I remember reading... There are going to be some rules for uh, changing formations. Okay. Which is going to be interesting. Uh, so it, I'm really interested in that. I, I have always liked the idea of uh, different formations. Uh huh. You know, and, and they would play differently, obviously. So it, it gives you more strategy. Right. So, sure. Um, we'll we'll see. see. We'll see what happens. So. <laughs> As yeah. Bane of Kings gets closer, we'll talk about it eventually. I already pre-ordered it, and <laughs> <laughs> we'll of see what happens. Of course he did. Of course of I did. Of course he did. No, yeah. that's awesome. That's good. So we'll talk about it as soon as we know more. So Sounds good. All right, guys. So thank you for joining us on this very short uh, little Oathmark update. Right. For the yeah. channel. Right. And... and uh, uh, Keep your eyes open. The game yep. is coming up. Game is coming up. Next Oathmark game is next Friday. You may see an update during yeah, the week or so. Probably, yeah. Uh, if we decide on a table setup or whatever it is. Yeah. So. All Have right. a good one.